shade but the sun is shining and it reminds me of when I went to a network I was invited to quite a large network it was their third year anniversary and it was a lunchtime and I went along and the format was we we're at tables for lunch about over lunch you went around the table and you explained for two three minutes about your business and what you were looking for and there was this guy there who made bespoke um, sunglasses or a range of limited edition sunglasses, stuff like that. I thought, that'd be quite an interesting guy to know. And at the back of my mind was, A, I might be able to photograph for him, but I didn't want to sell to him because I'm not selling to the room, but that might have been an objective later on if we formed a relationship, because networking is about building a network relationship. Anyway, I said to him over the dinner, across the table from me, table about 12, so I need to ring you and contact you and all the rest of it. So I contacted him after the um, network meeting. I contacted him by email, said I'll be ringing him in a day. Rang him the next day, couldn't get hold of him. Rang him the next day, couldn't get hold of him. Ignored my phone calls. Eventually I got hold of him. And he said to me, he said, sorry, already have photographer. In fact, we've got two photographers. Don't need a photographer. Can't really help you at all. Haven't got time to meet with you. I said, oh. Okay, that isn't what I was going to talk to you about. But anyway, that's what you say, fine. And we finished the conversation. Day later, I then got an email from his PA saying, you emailed us to meet Mr. So-and-so, the sunglass designer and maker. Um, he's got these dates available in his diary. So first of all, it wasn't very efficient, his PA, compared to him and all the rest of it. And then... I wrote back an email, I took a deep breath, wrote back an email, and the email said this, that basically I wasn't asking him to become a photographer, however, I was ringing him to see if we could chat, and if I could get some of his sunglasses on loan for some rap artists I know, and also a boxer who's going to become a world champion who I'm the photographer for, and see if I could do a studio session with his sunglasses on these up and coming hip hop and rapper artists and singer songwriters and this boxer. But as he didn't want to speak to me and was too busy, then I suggest we leave it at that and I wish him all the best. You see, his idea of networking was to sell to the room. Therefore, he assumed that my phone call was about me selling my photographic services to him in the room. He was so mistaken. I spoke to the organiser of the network. She said, well, he hasn't renewed, and I don't know whether he will, because he paid annually and so on. And I bet you he won't, because networking for him, it doesn't work. But that's because he's selling to the room. He's left his network at the door, he's not bought it in, and he's selling, and therefore he assumes that everybody else who goes networking is selling to the room. Don't make that your mistake. Live long and prosper. May the force be with you. Cheers.